Let's read a book. Let's read a book. Today we are going to read Amazing Sharks. There are more than 350 different kinds of sharks. Some are as long as a fire truck. Some are so small you could hold one in your hand. Some sharks have dull teeth. Others have teeth so sharp they can take a bite out of a turtle's shell. Some sharks live in rivers. Others hide on the ocean bottom or swim in deep water. Some sharks even glow in the dark. Almost all sharks are hunters. Animals that hunt are called predators. Say like this, pre a tors While the wild shark is a predator, it attacks from below to kill its favorite food, seals or sea lions. These animals are called its prey. It sounds the same as prey. A white shark can grow as long as a pickup truck. A whale shark can be as long as two white sharks. Its mouth can be wider than your front door. It is the biggest fish in the world, but it eats mostly tiny animals smaller than your fingernail. The angel shark hits under the sand and waits for a fish to swim by. Then the shark rushes out to eat it. The cookie cutter shark takes just one bite out of a fish, a whale or a seal. The bite is round like a cookie. Then the shark swims away. Sharks are fish but they are different from other fish. Other fish have bones. A shark's skeleton is cartilite. Say like this, cartilite. Your ears and nose are made from cartilate. It bends more easily than bone. A shark can bend and twist to turn quickly when it's swimming. Most fish lay eggs in the water. Some sharks lay eggs too. But most sharks give birth to their babies. Shark babies are called pups. The pups live on their own. They do not need their parents. They stay away from other sharks. Some older sharks will eat pups if they get the chance. Some sharks eat stingrays or spiny sea anchors. Many eat other sharks. Tiger sharks have eaten tin cans and metal wire. Sharks have rows and rows of trees. If one tooth falls out, a bigger one moves up to fill in the hole. Some sharks lose thousands of teeth during their lives. Sharks have many senses to help them find food. A shark can hear a fish in the water from more than a mile away. It can smell one drop of blood in a million drops of water. A shark can see well underwater. A hammerhead shark has one eye on each end of its long hair. No one is sure why. If a fish is swimming or splashing, a shark can feel the water moving. Sharks can also feel electricity. Say like this, electricity. Every living thing gives off a little bit of electricity. People cannot feel it, but sharks can. Even if prey is hiding, a shark can still find it by feeling electricity in the water.
Many people are afraid of sharks, but most sharks leave people alone. You are more likely to be hit by lightning than to be killed by a shark. People kill sharks every day. They eat shark meat or make their fins into soup. They catch fish in huge nets. Many sharks are killed by mistake in these nets. People have killed more than half of all the sharks in the world. People don't trash or oil into the ocean. They put up buildings near the swallow waters where shark pups live and grow. These waters are called nurseries. If a nursery is destroyed, pups may be eaten or bigger fish or other sharks. They will not grow up and have pups of their own. Scientists study sharks to find out what they eat, how far they swim, how deep they dive, and how many are still alive. Sometimes they go into cages under the water so they can see sharks up close. They learn how sharks live and what they need to survive. The ocean needs predators like sharks. Sharks hunt fish and other animals. Is it easier for a shark to catch a fish that is weak or sick, but a strong and healthy fish escape? The fish lay eggs and have babies. Their babies grow up to be strong and healthy too. Sharks are important to life in the ocean. People must find a way to help sharks survive. We can stop hunting sharks. We can protect their nurseries. We can teach other people why we need to have sharks in our world. Si te gustó este video, dale me gusta y no te olvides de suscribirte. También entra a www.creacosta.com para adquirir práctica de este y de otros temas, productos exclusivos y tener la oportunidad de matricularte a mis clases de inglés.